Hello all, just a real quick video. I wanted to go back and expand on the material that I actually used when I created that little nifty dial scale for the Tom Thumb bike radio from 1949. So one of my subscribers and one that most of you know, Art, who's got a great YouTube channel, the Beginner's Radio Workbench, TBRW, if you haven't checked it out, please do so was asking me to expand on the material, so uh, here we go. The material that I used um, was a cab material, and again, I already had this on hand. I had purchased this material, I think it was back in 2012. The material that I purchased had a thickness of .02 inches. It does offer some UV stability, which is really neat. The product is extremely clear. You know, and you can see it can be bonded if you choose to do so. And the forming characteristics of the material is superior, you know, with the right uh, heat applied. It is uh, resistant or somewhat tolerant to chemicals and high impact. And this particular material can be painted or silk screened, which is a big advantage. And one disadvantage that I found, you know, the supplier I used, I think it was uh, warmplastics.com. I see they're not in business anymore. So I've still got probably a dozen sheets of this. But trying to obtain this particular material with a, th a thickness of uh, around 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 inches, um, I just don't see uh, suppliers out there. Most of them start out at, uh, you know, 0 0.06. So I haven't tried that thickness but, um, you know, it may work as well. Another plastic that I keep on hand is PETG. The thickness that I have, again, mirrors the cab. is 0 0.02 inches in thickness. And again, I use this for replacing dial covers or fabricating dial covers. If anybody's interested in seeing a video on that, please let me know. And I um, think I've got one or two, maybe a Zenith or so, that needs another dial cover produced. So I'll be glad to do one and publish a video on it. But it's, again, it's got very good forming uh, capabilities as well. Offers very deep draws. It's extremely uh, durable. Again, it can be bonded as well. The clarity of it maybe looks a little better than the cab material, or at least the samples that I have. And again, that might just be the age or the storage. Um, I don't believe um, that the, you know, the PETG material is uh, actually UV stabilized. Um, it is FDA approved for food contact as well. <laughs> there was a need there. And again, just like the other, it can be painted or silk screen, which is a big advantage as well. So let's take a real quick look at the uh, decal paper that I used. In the uh, prior video, I mentioned I used a product by Micromark. It's a great uh, product, or has been for me. I've used it uh, on many occasions. Again, I love the uh, compatibility with inkjet printers, laser jets, and for those out there that might have uh, the micro dry printers, um, it is compatible with that as well. So it's got a lot of flexibility built into the product. Again, very easy to use, and for folks like me being a hobbyist, it's, uh, they make it simple and easy. Again, it allows you to create and print your own custom artwork at home. And again, you know, one important aspect of this is to use a clear acrylic sealing spray um, over the image after it's printed, especially if you're, I think it's a requirement if you're using an inkjet printer. Uh, not so if it's laser jet, if I recall correctly. But uh, me having an inkjet printer, I have to, uh, you know, put the uh, sealing spray on. Otherwise, I'll have a big mess. And with any decal, you really want a top coat. You want to have some protection over the decal. Now, I also used a micro set, which is a setting solution. It just allows the, uh, the decal to better apply itself to the material. Kind of softens it up a little bit and allows you to move it around. And then the micro sole, I used it as well. And it actually allows the uh, decal itself to better conform to the surface. It really softens the decal. And then in this case, I went on and used the uh, micro gloss as well as my top coat over the particular uh, dial scale that I created. So to recap again, the plastic that I used for this particular integrated dial cover, dial scale, was a cab plastic. Again, I have the PETG on hand as well, and I could have used it. It would have served my uh, needs well, I'm sure. 
So again, I'm showing here just the uh, the Microsat, Microsol, and that micro gloss that I actually used as my top coat on the decal that I created on the little uh, Tom Thumb B44. So um, I hope you found this uh, useful and helpful. And again, I appreciate you uh, folks taking time to uh, view the video.